Okay, everybody, uh, Shabbat Shalom. Um, so let's, uh, just a few words of Torah for tonight. Uh, tonight I want to talk about Saturday Night Live. Saturday Night Live premiered on NBC in 1975. And since then, it has become iconic for American comedy. It sets the trends for what we as Americans often think is funny. Um, just as an example, uh, cast members uh, have often you know, gone on or even while they're on the show to have very successful careers in film and on other TV shows. So SNL, if you will, uh, Saturday Night Live, also called SNL, every, every episode includes a mock newscast called Weekend Update. And last week, just this past Saturday night, during this skit, this fake newscast, uh, the anchor said about the coronavirus and vaccines the following. Israel is reporting that they vaccinated half of their population. And I'm going to guess it's the Jewish half. Now, many Jews, uh, including groups like the Anti-Defamation League and the American Jewish Committee were up in arms. The reason they were so upset is because the quip from the uh, fake broadcaster, if you will, the news reporter, evoked an anti-Semitic conspiracy that Jews caused the spread of disease or that Jews only protect themselves from it, from disease. This canard, this fake, uh, fake news, if you will, uh, this has been around since at least the bubonic plague of the Middle Ages. Um, and most importantly, it's simply false. It is absolutely not true. Um, 20, 26% of Israel's citizens belong to other religions. Um, that's a quarter of Israel's population is actually of a different faith than Judaism. And every Israeli citizen has access to the vaccine through Israel's centralized healthcare system. Uh, about this, this joke and sort of the uproar that's been caused, Israel's ambassador to the United Nations said recently, I would like to shatter the latest false and grotesque accusations about Israel's campaign to vaccinate its people. According to the international agreements, the Palestinian Authority is responsible for the health care of its own population. The PA, Palestinian Authority, informed Israel that they intend to purchase vaccines from the Russian government, and Israel has announced it will facilitate their transfer. These are the facts. Now, despite this reality and the facts that Israel is working overtime to overcome vaccine hesitancy uh, among Arab Israelis, and Israel is vaccinating many Palestinians despite official Palestinian policy, many organizations, elected officials, and news organizations continue to spread falsehoods that Israel does not denies Palestinians the COVID vaccine. There are reasons for Israel's success in battling the coronavirus. It uses mobile phone technology to track infection and readily shares its methods. In fact, some 20 US states now use similar technology to battle the spread of the coronavirus. But hey, I mean, it's just a joke, right? Are we Jews being oversensitive? I would say no, we are not being oversensitive. If we don't speak out against such irresponsible comments, then negative and untrue stereotypes about Jews spread, leading to more anti-Semitism. Uh, last night and today was the holiday Purim, which we all know and love and we celebrate. Uh, we should be inspired by Queen Esther, who stood up against Haman's wicked untruths. Boo! She stood up against his wicked untruths and his sinister plot. We need to channel our inner Esther when it comes to standing up for the truth and for what's right, especially when it stops prejudice and anti-Semitism. As a way to speak out, I signed an American Jewish Committee petition submitted to NBC in protest of the SNL skit. On the one hand, we do love jokes. There's a great Jewish tradition of jokes, Yiddish jokes, uh, Jewish humor. It's not that we don't like to laugh. Of course, we love to laugh. But we also know that words matter. 
and words can be dangerous. The problem here is that the quip spread lies and in today's environment of Israel bashing and anti-Semitism, it's simply irresponsible. So let's stand up and protest against things that are simply wrong uh, in order to stand up against, in this case, uh, anti-Semitism and the spread of untruths. Thanks everybody, Shabbat Shalom.